ready. Okay, I'm back. Ooh. Hi, Lyra. Howdy, howdy. Make sure I have everything good. Everything's looking good. We can start. That on pause. Game music back on. Not that you can hear it just yet, because I am in the pause menu. Or the, not the pause menu, the uh, load save, there we go. Brain not functioning. <laughs> Alrighty. And enjoy the game to its full- okay, uh, buh, buh, buh. No, I don't want to launch the sea gear. We don't need that. We do not need it. What is the petalil salad? Well, we, uh, we found a fossil. And fossils are also randomized in this game. And our fossil hatched into a petalil, <laughs> whom which we named Salad. So, I figured we should draw it as a salad. Since all of our mons have been drawn with or, like, you know, featuring said food they're named after. So we got the little baby. In a salad bowl. <laughs> and a little cob salad. Unfortunately... Because the fossils hatch at 25, or I shouldn't say hatch, I should say like revive. Foss fossils revive at 25, which means we technically can't even use it till after this gym. I think the highest we can contain is around 2021. 20, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Classic cob, exactly. Ooh. Uh. So, we're good to head in to the gym now. Gotta make our way downtown. The same quote as earlier. Happens to be my wife. Isn't that sweet? Uh... A Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of a museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. Thanks. Thanks for the fresh water. All trainers in this gym use normal- Okay, they probably don't. <laughs> this is just between me and you. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show around... Uh, Pinwheel Forest. <laughs> no, okay, no, I don't need you to explain the gym. I get it, there's a puzzle. All gyms have a puzzle. Alright, kid, what you got? A badoo. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't Blueberry just learn a Fire-type move? If we're faster than the Badoo... We are. That's good. Perish. Oh, really? Leaf Tornado. Ouch. Ooh, okay, yeah. 
Maybe not a great idea to keep Blueberry in for that. I was hoping that would one <clears throat> was... Oh my goodness, I need water. Um. <laughs> I was hoping that would one shot. That's looking like a no. <laughs> we could send in jello shots, I guess. <gasps> Thank you for the sub! Yay. Thank you so much, Lyra. Uh, cause jello shots has try attack. I mean, I guess that's only normal type move, but... I forget if try attack actually counts. As fire, electric, and ice, or whatever. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else have anything good on them? Oops, well, I didn't actually mean to switch, but we're switching. <laughs> Go, Venison! Another leaf tornado. Don't destroy. Okay, yeah, it does nothing. I didn't think so. Um... I mean, Dragon Pulse should just kill it. I doubt it'll live through a Dragon Pulse from a pseudo-legendary. <laughs> I didn't think so, okay. Shut up, kid! <clears throat> I'm sorry if my throat acts up today. I'm not feeling super great. I'm feeling okay enough to stream. Oh, shoot. I forgot to buy potions. All right, let me go heal real quick and grab potions. Would have been a cracked Badoo for real. That would have been mental if it lived. I, I will stay hydrated, don't worry. I've got lots of water. I've also got some snackies if I get hungry. It is not a problem. I know we're kinda busted broke right now, but how much money I got? Oof. Not a lot at all. <laughs> um. I can afford two regular potions or one super. Kinda shit. We'll go with one super. And just hope nothing takes a boatload of damage. I need to go dunk on some kids. Yeah, we gotta fulfill the prophecy once again. Destroy all the preschoolers. The champion cop Cynthia couldn't stop us last time. She won't stop us this time either, even though she's not the champion of this. This bookshelf is for children's books. Ironic. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Sweets for Pokemon, do you want to read it? Sure. It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. These are called Poffins. Ayy! Poffins are from my favorite gen. Yeah, Sinnoh region. Those are not a part of this game anymore. <laughs> and they haven't been since. This is not the book you're looking for. Oops. Uh, nice to meet you, Pokemon. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. There is a memo between the pages. I am the gym leader, Lenora. I had four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions to come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first gym you met? Wait, wait. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Hint. The bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. Okay. I always wanted to make Poffins IRL. Yeah, me too. Uh, the pat rat. So the answer is pat rat then, right? As I thought, the question was easy. This is the second question. Uh, flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is somebody is currently reading it. Is it you? What does the memo say? Uh, fire burns inside its body while it runs. I'm reading a book about Tepig, but is that the correct answer? I mean, I would assume so. 
Teehee, what a pity. The book says, uh, gives off the flame from its nostrils. Oh. Well, apparently I'm stupid. What are you reading about then? What other Pokemon could it be? Uh, reading a book called The Structure of the Locomotive? Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't even about a Pokemon, it was about- <laughs> I'm actually slow. That was a trick question though, come on now. The fucking book was talking about trains. <laughs> How was I supposed to assume that? Ooh, a haunter? Okay. A heckin' train, got him. Yeah, for real. Alright, cream puff. I mean, I guess I could have switched into jello shots, because it's also normal type, but... What? She has an X defend? Okay. That's not gonna stop me from, uh, hyper-beaming, though. <laughs> I lied. I'm, it's gonna woodhammer, because... Gaster Acid. Okay. That's not good, actually. Because now I'm gonna take recoil damage, aren't I? Yeah. Shit! Okay. We are gonna switch into jello shots. I can't- I can't risk any recoil damage. Gastro acid it again? Okay. Oh wait, try- yeah, try attack wouldn't work. Shit. Uh, what do we have for this then? So far, all it's been using is gastro acid, so I guess we could just really put in anybody. I don't have to worry about- Getting hit by, like, ghost attacks. We'll send him Blueberry, I guess. It's so silly, them grubby little mitts. Yeah. He's ready to fucking grab at anything. Stop gastro-aciding. That the only move you own? You're gonna start to struggle soon. Okay, it does have Dark-type moves. I'm glad I didn't send in, uh, Aragosta. Excuse me. That, uh, that Astonish would have hurt. Can we stop being Astonished, please? I just want to throw up Sand Tomb. And Ominous Wind? Okay. Ooh! That crit! Okay, I didn't know Levitate was affected by that. God damn. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to- No, we can't. Damn. Is it gonna have to be venison again? Let me quickly look up. Hi, Dragon. I don't want to send it in if it's gonna be weak to... Huh? Wait. That's not the right Pokemon. What am I thinking of? This thing, yeah. It was Hydreigon, I was right, what the heck? Why was it giving me the fossil Pokemon? Uh... Okay, it seems like it's resistant to Ghost and Dark, so we're good to switch in. I was worried that it might be weak. I can't spell, oh my god. That's okay. <laughs> Listen, I can't spell, speak, or think. It's fine. It's just Dragon Pulse again. Venison's just gonna carry us through this gym. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go heal again. Oh my god, and she was a ghost rider. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> she was a ghost rider and had a ghost. I turned the book to the shelf after you're reading it. Okay, actually, before I do that, I gotta go back and heal again, because lordy lord. 
Lenore might be harder than I thought at this rate. I hope she doesn't have anything fucking crazy. Lenora is insane if she's got something wild and because already we've struggled with the haunter. <laughs> I didn't think the haunter would be that big a problem. I was like, oh yeah, we got two normal types. But then I forgot both of those normal types basically only have normal type moves. Uh, the structure of the locomotive, yes. There's a note. Uh, impressive that you found this place, that's correct. I exp that's exactly what I expected. Here's the third question. If you heat up in- wait. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is it? Ah, it's berries. This book. How did we not see the, the memo the first time? We read this book first. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Unfortunately, I cannot say that I have. <laughs> I was tricked by one. Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move forward. Wait. Move two backward, one to the left, two forward, one to the right. Okay. And then one backwards. Now where is it? Can't find it by yourself. One, two, three. Wait. It was two back, one to the left. Then it was one to the right and two forward? Right? Is that what it said? One to the left, two forward, and one to the right. And then one backwards. That, that's like right here, isn't it? <laughs> Are we talking bookshelves all together? Let me re read this carefully. Last question. From this bookshelf, move two... You can't move two bookshelves backwards from here, though. This is the first row of bookshelves. Maybe I do need help. <laughs> Maybe I am too dumb for this puzzle. Move two backwards, one to the left. Two forward, one to the right, one backwards. Now where is it? Um... I'm gonna check the sides of the bookcases real quick just to be safe. Okay, um, these sides. I can't check that side. Um, so from this bookcase, are they talking about steps? I'm not exactly sure what they meant by two. Let me look up the fucking puzzle. I don't feel like figuring this out. I'm too smooth brain for this. Talk to the trainer on the middle set of shelves to the right, fight her, read the book, and then you'll access the gym leader. Okay, so it is that one girl with the tipig book. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Yes. Alright. Smooth brain, but it's cool. <laughs> She's got three Pokemon? That's more than the gym leader, isn't it? Hold up. Yeah, Lenora only has two. Why does she have three? Anyway, Scald.
Uh, Ninkata. We can keep battling. It should be fine. Bum, bum, bum. Is Ninkata bug ground or just bug? Ninkata. Bug and ground, okay. Yeah, so both water and fire work, so I'll just go with Scald. It's gonna be a blueberry sweep. Give me another ground type. Diglett, yes! Another ground type! <laughs> this lady was stacked with ground types. Bone meringue, ouch. Fuck your diglid. Hey, Venison grew a level. Alright. Read the last book. Uh, this is a bookshelf for Pokemon, the biology of Tepeg yet. Uh huh. There's a memo. You've managed to get here well done. You have wisdom and strength. Actually, I just looked it up. Sorry. There was a switch under the book. This woman literally lives in a fucking dungeon under the bookshelf. <laughs> and before we go down there, I am going to heal again. I don't want to waste that super potion unless we have to. Because we are low on funds right now. I'd rather spare any money we can. Sorry, one second, I'm just double checking some stuff real quick. Alright. Okay, now we can go fight Lenora. So her A should be level 20. We are a little under that, but I'm confident in our team. We've been doing alright. Oops. Hi! We're just about to fight the second gym leader. You're right on time to watch me make poor decisions and hopefully still get the badge anyway. <laughs> uh, the director of the Narserine Museum and the Narserine gym leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm glad to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raised. Stacy! I kind of like the name Stacy for her. I don't know if I like it over Lenora, but Stacy's not bad. Aquilava? Okay. That's a Scald. V create, damn. That did a lot, even for a non effective move. Holy moly. I knew he wouldn't be faster than a Quilava, though. Look, and it crit. Nice. Good job, Blueberry. Holy. And you got the level. What's next? <laughs> no. What? Why is her ace a Mr. Mime? Oh my god. If Kitsu was here, they'd be having a fucking field day. 
they'd be losing their shit right now. We don't really have anything that it's weak to per se. So we should be okay to just stay in. Now this is gonna be a level 20, so that is a bit scary. Um, let's start with a sand tomb, get some chip damage. Light screen, huh? She knows how to prep. AI's got a bit of a brain in there. Alrighty, um... Then from here, I want to switch to... I'm thinking... Aragosta? And maybe use Foul Play? Because I wouldn't want Blueberry taking a heavy hit from something. Aragosta can tank a hit. Especially if it's a Psychic type move. Perfect. Power trick. Doesn't that swap our power stats? Oh, it switches the attack with defense. Well, <laughs> get memed on. She was a lot easier than I was expecting, especially since we had so much trouble with a ghost type earlier. Wow. Uh, your fighting style is so <laughs> enchanting, it is charming. Okay. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of the basic badge. Thanks. Thank you. I'll take the basic bitch badge. Hand it over. Thanks. You received the basic badge from Stacy. If you have two badges, traded Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here I also have a TM for you. Ooh, low sweep? Not bad. Uh, that's not retaliate, but okay. <laughs> Does a lot more damage if the ally fainted in the turn before you use it. That's nice. That has nothing to do with what you just gave me, though. Dear. Oh, it's the nerd. Uh, dear, come quickly. Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones. <laughs> They're here to take the bones. What? What's going on? Kiwi, you come too. Yeah, get the child involved, you know? Alright, I'm here to stop you boners from taking the bones. Fucking boneheads. Now you wait, enough fooling around. So you've come, gym leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma, plasma! Poof. Damn, they stole it and ran. Those motherfuckers are quick. What's going on? Oh, oh, we have to go after them! says we but doesn't follow hey it's Berg except we don't know what his name is yet uh, good day Lenora find any good fossils lately uh, <laughs> there was a surprise visit uh, are you suffering from artists block again Kiwi this is Berg except he's not gonna be called Berg uh, we don't know what his name is in the randomizer yet. Uh, he may not look like it, but he's... Castelia City's gym leader. Eh? Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? Or something, he says. What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit that's what's up. Oh, hi, Bianca. Oh, hi, Kiwi. What's everyone doing here? Oh, and Sharon. Uh, Kiwi, is there some kind of problem? Yeah, so... They kind of just stole some bones. And those two are... Your friends? Bianca and Sharon. Actually, it's Antoinette and Pansy. Thank you. <laughs> Even though I called them Bianca and Sharon like five seconds ago, ignore that. 
Oh, I see. They're trainers. Okay, then let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone? Uh, Antoinette... Or sorry, Pansy and Antoinette, I want you to stay here at the museum. Uh, Berg and Kiwi, you two research Pinwheel Forest. Got it? Uh, Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. I've already been there, but there was a bunch of plasma members in the way, so I couldn't get through until now. <laughs> Uh-oh, are you Kiwi, is it? They're... Uh, are you raring to round up our robbers? I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, oh, Kiwi, take this with you. Meadow gave me this dowsing machine. Thanks. Got the dowsing machine. Now, what did she tell me? Uh, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. So you can find stuff you can't even see. For now, uh... All we need to do is protect the museum, right? Hey, wait for me! Alright. We heal up. And we're off to the, the forest. New encounter soon, baby! Oh, hello, Berg. Uh, this leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. Maha. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot there was a nurse there. I could have just healed there. All right, buddy. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. This road goes straight. Uh, sorry, the road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I'll take. Okay, of course. I'll take the straight road after them. Uh, if they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma are hiding in there somewhere? We'll run into e uh, a lot of trainers, but. It's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. Well, there's one already. One, two, one, two. Uh, keep time with each other. And one, two, punch. We discuss what to do before battle. Isn't that nice? A golet and a badoo. So, golet's ghost type, if I'm remembering correctly. I also don't want either of these out, because that badoo is a pain. Let's see... Uh, we could probably switch into Cream Puff and Venison at this point. Just to keep our two water types safe. Oops. Uh, yeah, and Venison. I knew you would leave, Tornado. Bulldoze. Uh -huh. And you hurt your partner. Okay, wood hammer on the golette, and then dragon pulse the Badoo. I can't believe this Hydreigon is faster than a Badoo. I feel like the Badoo should be much faster because it's so much smaller. Bonk. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Easy children. Mon, Pa, Ali, and Cam. Oh, I couldn't read that. I was about to, but it was too fast. 
All right, kids. There's some grass. You stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. What you got? What my man's got? A Darumaka. That's a scold. Nice level. Okay, bug catcher Tia, you sucked. Too bad. I haven't got anything. If you want to get it back, you're gonna have to look for my associates. Alright, I mean, I seen that coming. Uh, there's another one, but let's get our encounter for this area. What we getting in the woods, baby? Ooh, uh, a Steelix? Okay. Let me just look that bad boy up real quick. It's a female Steelix, too. Stealing ground, correct. Okay, so I might switch into Aragosta and hit it with a dark type move because that's only normal effective and it shouldn't kill in one hit. <laughs> Heavy slam. Ouch, that might hurt. Never mind. Foul play. Don't kill. What? Not very effective. But it's a it says here. Aw. Is Bulbapedia lying to me? Oh, prior to generate. Okay, I see that. It's at the bottom. I was misled. So then I think what I want to do is switch to Cream Puff and hit it with a wood hammer. And just hope that don't kill. Don't hurt too bad, please. Ouch. We're gonna super potion. Actually, what's a fresh water? Same as a super potion, okay. I'd have to use both. Never mind. It's gonna heavy slam again. Don't crit. Okay, we can survive another wood hammer. Don't kill. Damn, that's doing nothing. This Steelix defense must be crazy. Um. Bow, 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 bow. What do I want to do here? Bow, 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 bow. I mean. My only options are to hit it with stuff that it's normally affected by, because if I hit it with a super effective move, it's gonna die. I mean, its defense is so good, though. Maybe it'll live one hit. 
I'm gonna switch back into Blueberry and hope that one Scald does not kill. Actually, yeah, no, I'll, I won't Sand Tomb because that might kill it with the chip damage. We'll just have to hope that one Scald does not kill. No, okay. Well, no encounter in the woods. <laughs> R.I.P. Venison got to level 20, though. Spatial, Rend. Uh, yeah, let's see what, I, what we got. Snarl, Fainted. What's Snarl again? Special attack decrease. I think that's a good trade-off. The extra crits would be good too. Alright, now before we go any further, I'm gonna go speak with that nurse again real quick. Ma'am. Can I get some, uh... Some kisses on the forehead? I need to heal my Pokemans. All right. My, my. Uh, could you be looking for something? Yeah. That skull y'all stole. I would like that back, please. I know you don't got it, though. A chingling. Okay. Um, chingling is steel type, right? Chingling. Oh, it's psychic? Okay. Which means we can switch into Aragosta for this. Uh, and then foul play. Ooh, it lived. Damn. Christine. Sorry, I'm empty handed. Do I look like the kind of girl to carry heavy loads? Better try somewhere else. What a shocker. Hey, that's an item. Oops. Well. Of course there's Mime Jr. in this in these woods. Of course there is. Goodbye. Can I get down there yet? I can. Ooh, an Aledian. I would have liked to draw an Aledian. That would have been cute. I don't know what we would have done with a bug type, but... Would have been cute. Ooh, a nugget. That's some good cash. Ooh, a mag mortar. Now that would have been also very good. There's a lot of decent shit in this forest. Steelix, mag mortar. Fuck. <gasps> a woo bat. One of the Gen 5 Mons. I like Swoobat and Woobat a lot. They're very cute. Gimme. Ooh, a Prism Scale? Isn't that for... Uh... What's it called? Top there. 
Mysterious scale that evolves a certain Pokemon. Right, it's an evolution thing. Nah, I thought that was the one for moves, but that is not the case. Bitch. <laughs> also, I see that Pokeball up there. It looks like it's glitching through a tree, though. Uh, my Pokemon strong points. Huh? Okay. You'll see them when you fight. Oh, his name is also Pansy. And he has a pet rat. What a... What a common rat for you to have in this generation. I'm fine with just scalding it. Perish. And a clink. Okay. We can keep battling. Oh wait, no, I wanted to stay in, yeah. Now that definitely has a uh, levitate, so I'm not gonna sand tomb, but scalding should work. Ooh, not quite. Ouch. That looks like it hurt way more than it actually did. <laughs> That move looks intense in this gen, damn. Sometimes you really forget how detailed some of these, uh... battle animations are. Fuck. What? Arceus is in these woods! Oh! What the fuck? God, is that you? We were actually able to flee, that's insane. I'm gonna bump into one of these and they're both gonna be trainers. Yep. Son of a bitch. Alright. <clears throat> what you got, ma'am? A Woobat. Hell yeah. Gold it is. Barrier. Okay. Get the burn off. Damn it. I knew it wouldn't kill, but... Dragon Dance. You sure you have time for that, my man? You're setting up a whole lot to be destroyed. I'm kind of scared as to what Biker Marshall had in store for me with setting up that much. Thanks! Didn't exactly need a Chesto Berry, but I'll take it. Poke Doll. That's to escape from battle easy, right? Yeah, flee from any wild Pokemon. Okay. Okay, as long as I don't bump into that, we're good. I can't go that way, I have to go around. I don't mind swerving this trainer. A Burmy! Another Gen 4 Mon. I don't mind fighting a few of these Mons in the woods. We do have to grind a little bit while we're able to. Silverwind? Fuck. Another Burmy. <laughs> Alright. There was a shaking grass there, though. I wanted to see what was in the shaking grass. Like, what if it was a Blissey? That would have been some good EXP. Ouch. Alright. One more over. Up here. Alright, sir. Oh, you made it this far. 
I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. Yeah, except Berg is supposed to be blocking the exit. So that's probably not gonna happen, my man. <gasps> A combi. So many Gen 4 mons. Fire pledge, baby. The animation on those wings are actually really good. Like, way better than they had to be. Yep, I'm here to buy time. If you don't step... And if you don't step lively, you're gonna get away. Or they're gonna get away. Oh my god. Brain, please function today. I'm asking nicely. Ooh, free heal. Yep. Seen that coming. Didn't have much of a choice. I was either gonna bump into that one or the one above it. A Staravia. Okay. Intimidate, huh? Alright, let me quickly look up Staravia. I'm pretty sure it's just a flying type. Staravia. Oh, it is normal flying. Okay. Yeah, I guess we could just scald it. Drill peck, ouch. Damn. Ouchy, ouch. That animation was rad, though. And it didn't kill. Whew. Alright, well, fresh water time. We did get a free one. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. This hemp man hitting me like a woodpecker. You good? I'm so glad we didn't miss. We would not have lived another hit and I didn't want to heal again. <laughs> oh, now you crit. Blueberry, come on. Nice level though, nice level. Withdraw. That's the same as clamp, isn't it? Like, aren't those the same fucking move? Oh no, right, Clamp is a damage over time. Right. Right, and Withdraw is the raising defense. So we had two damage over time this whole time. Why did I think Clamp was a... Defensive stat. A big move. I don't know. Um... I feel like Clamp could come into use. But it is basically... Mm, I feel like the typing is worth it. I don't need Withdraw. No, no, no. I don't want withdraw. Keep old moves. Thank you. Thanks. Alrighty. We should heal. I might just go back for that, though. Like, I might take the path back. We didn't swerve that many trainers on the way here, so... Hi! And my day is going okay. I was feeling a little sick earlier. Still not tip-top shape, but I'm doing alright. How are you today? Ah, shoot. I didn't mean to go. 
Yeah, just a little bit. I was feeling kind of nauseous earlier. But I'll be alright. Alright. Grab a quick heal. And then... We will finish off this area, I believe. Okay. Zoop. Go away, Burmy. You give like zero EXP. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. Fuck. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, could you give me some tips on how to see the stream and do a ROM when streaming? Uh, I personally use two monitors. So I don't know if uh, I could like give you really good tips in that respect. But you could also uh, make the window a little smaller and make sure that you have your streaming software, whether it be OBS or Streamlabs or what have you, also be kind of small in the corner of your uh, main monitor. Or you could also um, like just have the stream page open and have that somewhere like on, on screen. That would be the best advice I could give for a one monitor setup. Let's see. Carvana. I'm pretty sure that's a dark type. A water and dark. No prob. I am correct on that. Which means it's weak to grass. Which is fine, because we have Kareem Puff. I mean, we also have uh, Salad, but... Salad's already a decent level. We're okay on that respect. Ouch! Okay. Rude. Hyper Beam, what are these moves? Let me wood hammer you, please. Wow, 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 wow. Like, was that so hard? Jeez. Thanks for the Petra Berry I'm not gonna use. Oh my god, and then an encounter, because of course. It's another Steelix. Wow, wow. Well, killing you should give some decent EXP, so that's what I'll do. Take this Scald, baby. Oh, I lived. Ouch. Uh, Black and White series is the only Pokemon game in the series I have not played. Um, played all the others. You think it is still get it, uh, worth getting into? Uh, I mean, I played it back when it came out, but I haven't really played Gen 5 since its release, which is why I decided to uh, do another run of it. And so far, I'm having a good time with it. Like, it's not a bad game. Absolutely not. So if you have the time and you and you want to like do a single run, I'd say it's worth your time. If you're invested enough in the series, you might as well. The animated sprites are definitely a, p a plus in my opinion. Underrated feature of Gen 5. Alright, how do I get over there? I think I might need Surf for that. Hmm. 
Nope, I can get over from right here. Nice. Give me this item. Thrash. Okay, not bad. There's shaking grass, but I don't want to go all the way up there to fight that. Of course there's an Arceus here. Why wouldn't there be? God's just chilling by the lake. Goodbye. Oh, never mind. Ouch. Why is everything critting recently? What is going on? Alright. Default Arceus without any plates is just a normal type, isn't it? Yeah. But that means I don't really have anything to deal with it because I don't have any fighting type moves. I did get low sweep, but I forgot to teach it to anyone. Um. This might be worth switching into Aragosta for. And hitting it with foul play for now. Just don't do anything fucking crazy. Conversion 2. Okay. Extreme speed. Ouchy, ouch. Oh my gosh. Uh... I don't know what to do in this instance. He hurts so much. Bow, bow. I might switch to venison, but I'm scared that he has something scary. I'm gonna switch. Okay, that did not do anything to venison. We're good. Um, Dragon Pulse, Spike Cannon. Ah. Just don't hit a lot. Stop. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it didn't even kill. <laughs> Tell me I have something to heal with. Oh my god, I don't. Um, I think I'm gonna have to waste a max potion at this point. It sucks, but... I can't risk losing venison. And I definitely can't switch. Much better. Alright, fuck you. You fucked my shit up. I just got back from healing too, you piece of shit. Aragosta's 19, that's nice. But now my ass has to go all the way back and heal again. <laughs> yeah, we're, this is definitely a randomizer run. Fuck. So we're definitely going to see some surprise mons. That includes legendaries and Pokemon that should not be legitimately found in these areas. Back to heal I go again. Actually, we should head all the way back into town and sell that nugget and buy some more potions. Now that I'm thinking about it, because 
We definitely need potions. I'm really bummed I had to waste that free max potion. Alright. Because now that we have that nugget, I can sell that bad boy. Get some more supers. Alrighty. Bye! Oh wait, sell first. Fighting most of those trainers also gave us some good money too, I forgot about that. Bye. Supers, let's buy... Let's buy 10. Oh, that's 9. I'm a dummy who can't count. 10. And then buy a couple more great balls. Let's buy five more great balls. We'll save the rest of that money for if we need it. You can't be too careful. I believe this should be the final stretch for these guys. We only got one or two more left to fight. Welcome back. Don't be Arceus. Thank you. Fighting that thing is a pain in the ass. Bow wow, bow wow. This way. Thank you for the posture check. Let me fix my back pillows while I'm at it. <sighs> Alright, buddy. Give me the bone. And thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> A pursuer? Ah, uh, haha. A kid like you uh, beat some of us? I can't, uh, that can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. A smear goal, huh? Well, again, I forgot to teach somebody low sweep, so. It was fine, Scald killed it. <laughs> what else you got? A Paris. We could probably stay in. Because we... Mm, yeah, let's stay in. Even if it has a Grass-type move, hopefully we're faster. Because I do have Fire Pledge. We are faster. That's kind of crazy how a Swampert is faster than a Paris, though. <laughs> Next catchable encounter will be shiny. I hope so. That would be wild. We did end up with one shiny on our last run in Gen 4. I was grinding off stream a little bit in... It was that... That cave just past Canalave City, like when you take the boat. And uh, we found a shiny Tangrowth. I say we, but it was off stream, so it was mostly just me, but... We ended up catching it. Uh, Skitty. We can also stay in for Skitty, because we, again, don't have any fighting type moves. I really gotta remember to teach somebody low kick. That's Zoe? Okay. Well, Zoe, you sucked. Oops, I did not mean to skip past that dialogue. Thanks for the bone, ya boner. Receive the dragon skull. 
So, the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that this skull, which we went to so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. That is not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, there is not the legendary po- This is not the legendary Pokemon which Team Plasma is looking. For which Team Plasma is looking? I can't read. <laughs> it is completely unrelated. But we will not fall allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We'll fix this so you never interfere with us again. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, sweet! <laughs> the Pug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. <laughs> what good dialogue, wow. Are you here to help your friend whom I defeated? You didn't defeat shit. Kiwi, Berg. The others have, uh, don't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The reminder, the remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. Uh, but the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, which is now Stacy, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers, even though you are gym leaders. Uh, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. Alright, later. They're a speedy bunch. <laughs> Did we just let them walk away? Like, why would we do that? Are you planning- <laughs> What are you planning to do, Berg? Uh, are you going to chase them? Hmm... We got back the stolen skull. And if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Stacy. <laughs> now, uh, well now, well... I'll be waiting for your challenge at the Castilia City Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Alright, bye. Kiwi, you're holding the dragon skull. You worked so hard to get, get it back, right? There you go. Uh, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Oh! <gasps> A moonstone? Yo! This is a moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve with this. Yeah, I know. Hello? We can evolve Cream Puff. Yo. Hold up. Use, baby. Yes! Oh, baby, baby, it's time. Cream Puff is evolving. I don't know if she normally gives you a moonstone there, but even if that is the normal thing she's supposed to give you, what fucking luck. My goodness. Clefable! Congratulations, your cream puff has evolved into Clefable. Fuck yeah. Alright, so. What that means is, now we get to go draw ourselves the Clefable and update our sprite or cream puff. So let me switch my... Where am I? There we are. Let me switch my sprite. And then we can move on to the drawing page. Let me double check I have everything right. Alright. Switch to drawing. Slick. We can turn off Salad. Salad was the last thing we had actually caught. Alright. Evolve. Now 
Now I need to look up a reference real quick. Fable. <laughs> One of the first images is a picture of Clifable from the anime, and Clifable from the anime looks so goofy. Alright, there's a good picture. So now we can get to work. Oh wait, uh, real quick, we've given Clefable, or Clefairy I guess beforehand, a item. What item was that again? I think it was the, yeah, the silk scarf. Okay, so she'll be wearing her silk scarf as well as holding her cream puff. She's very egg-shaped. What a lovely little... Egg-shaped friend. All right. Oops. Make sure the legs are even. She's got these little, like... Toe claws. I don't think I've ever had to draw a cliff able before. This is coming out a little wonky. <laughs> Should fix this. Swirl on her head. Like Clefairy. She's somewhat of a clown, I remember. Let me see her personality real quick again. It's timid, right? Oops, I did not mean to fully close that down. I'll keep the blushies. Where should the scarf be? Yeah. Maybe it'll be around one of her wrists. It'll be like wearing it like a little bracelet. I think that would be cute. Puff. Just like before, we'll have the cream and the strawberries, a chocolate sauce. It's looking a little more like a macaroon than a cream puff. Make it a little bit puffier. Bow. There we go. The fable has all actual nub fingers this time. Instead of like a weird claws and then one fleshy finger. If 
some would be over here. Wait. Yeah, the thumb would- okay, yeah. Not remembering how to draw hands, the, the true struggle of an artist. Which way the fingers go, who knows. Oh, I almost forgot her wings on the other side. Whoopsie. Then we'll put the silk scarf on her wrist, like I said. The beautiful. This year is throwing me for a loop. Let me uh, take a little bit of the easy way. Work smarter, not harder, friends. It's not cheating. I drew it the first time. draw a circle or oval I should say please thank you still not exactly as I want it though that are next to Clefairy and Clefable's eyes really like accentuate that nervous look. <laughs> They're not supposed to look that nervous, but it's a good thing that ours is supposed to because... Lord, does it look nervous. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> does not know what to do with itself. I think the real question is why isn't anxious a Pokemon nature? Why can't a Pokemon just be like anxious? They can be lonely. They can be fucking like depressed. But they can't be anxious. Timid is the closest thing you have to anxiety. <laughs> How am I supposed to relate to these Pokemon if they don't share my issues? <laughs> Just kidding. Why does that line always... 
curve in too early. Why am I smooth braining? Almost done with the line art. Alright, nice. Sketch can be turned off. Now we fill in the flats. Where is Cream Puff's original? Just yoink some of these colors real quick. Actually, Capable's paler than Clefairy is. toe beans, the white silk scarf, and then it's got really dark brown ear bits and eye bits. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a blue reflection in the top. Actually, that's a little bit too pale. There we go. Oh no, I gotta sneeze. <sighs> okay. I'm good, I'm good. I need them cream puff colors. Just peeping in. We're doing alright. We got a, uh, a moonstone, so we're currently drawing our evolved baby cream puff. Uh, we beat Lenora, so the second gym is down. Everything seems to be going all right so far. No major deaths. We did miss out on the Pokemon from this route because I killed it, but <laughs> what else is new? No one on the team got hurt though, so that's good. Just meandering around. <laughs> All right, time for that powdered sugar. Wanted to stop in and say hi. Well, I appreciate it. And I hope your day is going all right. That a little bigger and then that a little bit of a sprinkle too. Beautiful. Now I need another dark chocolatey color. That's purple. Bow, 
Look at me wasting time putting like minute details on this cream puff. Crazy. When not even five minutes ago I was saying to work smarter, not harder. But do I ever take my own advice? That's the real question. And the answer to that question is no. <laughs> I don't. Okay, there's the shading colors. Clip it. Trying to stay relatively simple with these shading shapes. I don't want to go too ham. I would like to continue on into the city and maybe find another encounter if possible. Teensy bit of shading to the cream puff. A little bit under. Okay, dokey, color the lines. Turn them down just a wee bit. Above all that, and turn off cream puff. Okay, turn off the background, save this image. It's cream puff Evo. Beautiful. Now. I can switch my sprite back. We can go back to the draw lock. Switch out Cream Puff's image for the Clefable. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Look at how cute. Let's 
scooch her down a little bit. Lock her back in place. Perfect. Bow, bow. Okie dokie. Well, that was a nice little surprise, actually, I should save. Getting that free- oh my god, the small pixel sprite for Cliff, Cliff Fable looks really silly. That was a nice surprise, getting the moonstone. Now we need a sunstone for our, uh, our cute little baby. Absorb bulb. I'm sorry, what? A consumable bulb if the holder is hit with a water type move, its special attack is risen. Okay. I mean, sure. Out the forest we go. Take me to the fucking... The city, baby. Take me to the big city. Can we get encounters on this bridge? I feel like I have memories of getting... Like, ducklet here. I guess I should hit sprint. I'll keep an eye out for... What looks suspiciously like a shadow. The shit was so impressive at the time. Like, look at all this 3D, wow! Look at how small we can shrink the pixel sprites! Jesus Christ! You literally can't even tell what you're looking at. Camera angles, me oh my. Let me into the big city. Let's go. Oh, I gotta wet my eye first. There we go. And this song reminds me of the Dog Island for some reason. Ma'am, I need you to move. Wanna recover your Pokemon? I'm sorry. Uh, do you know Geonet? Yeah. You know Geonet? That's great. Okay, shut up. I don't know what Geonet is, but I don't care. Sometimes it's okay to lie, children. Thank you for waiting. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. So, before we go and do anything... I want to take a little look around. The Royal Unova is now in preparation. We are working hard to ready the, sh the ship. Yeah, okay, I thought it said skip for some reason. The best Pokemon trainers. I want to see if we can get another encounter before the gym. Gotta check every ounce of this city first. Uh, when someone is getting under your skin and you want to yell at them, scream at the ocean. <laughs> when you're alone, of course. Okay. The black boat? What could it be? Gee, that's not suspicious. Battle company. There's a way to train a little bit, I guess. Bow, bow, bow. Both Pokemon and people will meet their destined partners someday. I believe it because my sister who got married. So, okay. Oops, uh, it is surprising. You had nothing worthy of saying anything anyway. We got some dancers. I vaguely remember that, actually. Passerby Analytics HQ. <laughs> People pass by as they walk along. I mean, uh-huh. This angle is hard. It is small compared to a luxury liner, but the size of the ship doesn't change the feeling of adventure when you're out on the open sea. Okay. 
Oops. Uh, it's the size of the heart. Aren't Pokemon great? Even if they're fighting someone bigger than them. Uh, up and at them they go. <laughs> okay. If you say so, kid. Ugh. So there's the gym. I'm gonna see if up here there's anywhere I can go. What's this say? Up ahead is Route 4. Can I go to Route 4 though? It's looking like I might be able to, huh? Question mark? What's up? Nice. All right, this area. So let me grab this. Yellow shard, okay. What's this house right here? What are you worn out? Then you can rest here for a minute. Oh, okay, it's just a heal spot. Good to know. Your crack is cute. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, I believe the sand is where you can get encounters. But I do kind of want to just find some items. Blue shard, nice. I don't know if we'll find the shard collectors at any point soon, but... Oh, okay, here's our encounter. What is it? Oh! <laughs> well, that's dupes, so we can skip this. Because we have a mudkip. Even though we didn't get it as a mudkip. We got it as a swamper. Alright, what else can we find? <gasps> and another fossil, so that's another free Pokemon. Nice. What else can we find here? A Wingle. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. We did just get access to a free fossil anyway, so... Let's see. Um, What could I hit this Wingle with? Or should I just start throwing balls at it? Wingle is water flying. It's resistant to water, obviously, so maybe that's the best bet. Just hit it with a scald a couple times. Attract? Okay. Interesting. Ooh! That hit for a lot more than I thought. Oh no, not the burn. Okay, please catch him one ball because I don't want to lose out on another one. <laughs> please! Stay in the ball! You have like no HP and you're burned. If you break out, you're dead. Okay, cool. Slick. Yes, we do have to name him. And I'm thinking we name him French Fry. Because seagulls love to steal them motherfuckers. Lowercase. C-H. And then... I can't put fries. Damn it. I want to put french fries.
damn it. Okay, well. Let's just go with French fry then. French fry. Already sick. Fuck. <laughs> what else could we have gotten? Just more wingle. <laughs> Is it all gonna be wingle and, uh, what's it called? Wingle and mudkip here? Funny how a lot of water types are over by the desert. So, what I'm thinking we do is A, we head back to the last town and get that fossil revived as well. And then we'll draw both mons. Actually, yeah, no, we don't have access to fly or teleport. I was gonna say, we might, be, we might just be able to go there quicker, but we won't. We gotta take the long way around. Not a big problem, just watching all this animation over again. Look at me go! Hey, a boat! Excuse me. Alrighty. Now back to the fucking woods we go. I don't know if we gotta fight this guy, so I'm gonna swerve him real quick. Whoo! And wait, what's over here? Hello? I can feel it. The presence of a fierce Pokemon? Huh? In the grass? If you say so. Fuck. Oh well. Looks like we'll have to take a battle in between. Might have to take two actually because of that other boy right below. Torchic. Well that's a Scorch. Perish. Uh, Teddy Ursa. We should be fine to stay in. Because we still don't have anything with fighting type moves. I keep forgetting. Perish. Damn, it didn't die. Ouch. It killed itself in recoil. Damn. Uh, Shellos. That's also a water ground. Right? You'd think I'd know. By now. Shell us. Just water. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. Cream puff time. Two pink boys against each other, except we're both girls. Oops. Bonk. Get bonked. Can I swerve this kid? Fuck. Guess not. That's okay, at least I won't have to fight him again. 
on our way back. Ooh, a gibble. Is Gibble a dragon type yet? Or does it have to evolve first? Dragon ground, okay. So it does start as dragon. I'm fine to stay in. Scald it is. Ooh, it barely lived. I'm just gonna grab a quick snack real quick. Okay. Scald it again. Sick. Alright. Get me the hell out of this forest. I gotta revive that fossil. Actually, first we gotta drop a Pokemon in the Poke Center, I forgot. Gotta plop one in the box real quick. Heal everybody up. Uh, someone... Move. I try. I didn't see what its stats were, which is good because I wanted to save that till after. Okay. Back out. I'm not sure if the fossil we got last time was an armor fossil. If it's the same Pokemon, I'll just release it. But if it is different, then we're Gucci. What's it changing into, baby? <gasps> a deerling? We're getting a lot of normal types? Or is deerling a grass type? Yes, I want to give a nickname to deerling. It's a girl. <laughs> we should have called deerling venison. Healing is so cute. Oh, it's normal and grass. Got a lot of weaknesses. That's no bueno. But that's okay. If we can. What's its evolution requisite? Just level 34? Okay. If we can get to level 34, I think a, a sauce buck would be cool, but it would probably still have a ton of weaknesses. Let's see, what do we call the deer? Let's see. Wait, deers eat sticks? Like they actually consume wood? Let's call this deer... Let's call it... Damn, I don't really know. I kind of want to call it cabbage. Yeah, let's call it cabbage. Cabbage... Wow. Because it does get, like, leafy bits on its head, eventually. Alright. Now 
we can check out the stats of our two new mons. I'm not looking yet. I'm not looking yet. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, wait. Yes, continue. Oh, not move. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay. You got a careful nature with sturdy body. Keen eye. Okay. Magma storm? Alright. We got magma storm, aqua tail, aeroblast, and attract. That's and it's holding a fist plate. What the heck? You've got a pretty good and diverse uh move set, my friend. Wingle might not be a bad choice to have on the party. I didn't think I'd ever have to say that. Wild. And then... Our cabbage here. Um, oops. Hasty. No item. Often lost in thought. Sap sipper boosts attacks when hit by grass type moves. Makes sense, makes sense. Uproar, energy ball, smoke screen, and grass whistle. Okay. Mostly just normal and grass type moves, as expected. As of right now, you're definitely not coming on the team, but maybe in the future. Alright, so now, let me switch my sprite again and we will go draw our two new friends. So we have French fries. Sorry, French fry, singular. I had to look up Wingle again. I need a good reference. Wingle. What was the personality again? It was like Hardy. Careful. With a fist plate. Right. So I'm gonna draw it, sitting on said fist plate. I don't know why it's holding a fist plate, but you know, we don't question things like that. It just found it, and it said mine. I don't remember what the fist icon looks like. I'm gonna have to look that up in a second. Whoops. I believe it's something like that. And then wingles, when their wings are like tucked in, they're not really tucked in, they're more like this. And then it's got like a wow. Try to fit its little tail in. God, this looks weird. But that's okay. Quickest doodle in history. Wingle is so simple, a 
of shapes. I didn't realize how easy this was going to be. All right. So now for the fist plate, I'm going to use some of the, Jesus, uh, turn that down. There we go. Some of the pre-made shapes, make the lines smaller. Go. Actually, that's fine. That instead. Beautiful. All right. Now let me quickly look up what the fist plate looks like. Fist plate. Pokemon. It's literally just a brown thing. I thought it had the fist on it. It really doesn't. Okay, well, what does uh, the fighting type fist look like anyway? Fighting type. On TV. Show me that shit right now. Oh, I was close. I was close. Okay, let me fix the sketch first. It'll be easier to fix the sketch. So it's. Short finger, a long finger, a long finger, a short finger. And then it's this kind of a shape, and then it's that kind of a shape. Yeah. I do think I made the fingers a bit long, though. Shrink those down just a little bit. Perfect. And you know what? I'll even use this tool again. Make everything even and concise. Bow 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 bow. Bow 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 bow. Bow 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 bow. Oops. Bow 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 bow. Beautiful. 
And I'm gonna squish these fingies in just a wee bit. Oh yeah. Perfect. Actually, wait, I'm a dum dum dingus. Huh? Oh, wait, oops. Get a little bit of 3D depth. There we go, that's a little better. This wingle is on a teensy bit of an angle, so. Oops. The pale blue, and the bright, the orangey yellow. The darker colors, and then that like orangey ready fist plate color. Oops. Flick. <sighs> Let me get into a slightly different seating position. try and be really quick with the shading because I do want to get under drawing dearling Um, then do this. A little bit of a whooshy fade. Oops, that's way too much. And then... Color the line art. Bow, 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 bow. 
Okay, and the Wingo was a boy, correct? Yes. Oops. Did it again. Alright, so this is French fry. And now we can work on the deerling. The deerling was hasty. Yeah, hasty. Even though she's currently in her spring form, I'm gonna draw her in her summer form just so the cabbage makes a little more sense. Plus, it will be summer soon, so hopefully she turns green soonish. They got a cute little, like, button nose. And big old ears. Uh, deerling. We got a... a wingle and a deerling. We just finished drawing the wingle, and now we're drawing the deerling. Unfortunately, neither were shiny. <laughs> the deerling hatched from a fossil, and the wingle we just caught on uh, Route 4 in the desert area. I feel like her nose should come out a little further. Uh, the body's kind of just like that. Kind of bean shaped. I'll make it smaller. I always over and underestimate the size of these mons every time. I can never just get it the right shape the first time. Legs look again. Like that kinda. And it's got a little hoof tail. Okay, and then it's got like a this kind of pattern. Some spots. No. <laughs> the fossil was uh, just a random item we found on the way past that. We did get the dragon skull back, and we gave that back to Stacy. And then we headed off towards Celestic Town, where Berg is now waiting for us. I don't know if we'll be able to get to that gym today, but we'll see. That's a big maybe though, because I'm starting to not feel so hot again. But it might just be a little bit of the stomach acting up. It might not be too bad. I 
feel like the eye should be a little further down. Like that. Yeah, that looks better. Bow, 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 bow. Oops. That was not the line art brush. Yuling is a super cutie. Too bad it's not very strong. <laughs> I think it's got one too many weaknesses in its current state for me to consider it. be an okay backup if we need backups. looks wonky. Something about it doesn't look right. Why does that look so wrong? That's a little better. Not optimal, but I'll deal with it. up a little bit, scooch in a little bit, still gotta fix this and this because for some reason they're kind of off. That's better. The base color is like a very pale, like tannish, and then it's got kind of like a darkish brownish nose, bright green, like bright bright green. Be a little lighter. There we go. Oh wait, I forgot about the hooves. And then bright, bright yellowy, orangey color. Oops. Bow, 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 bow. And like a good pink color for the tongue. Oh wait, and the inside of its ears are kind of yellow, aren't they? 
选。There we go. Time for the shading. I'm going to try and get through this quickly. Not because I want to per se, but I am starting to feel a little bit nauseous again. So I want to see if I can get a little bit more progress in the game done before I have to call stream. At the very least, I want to make it back to uh, Celestic Town. out a little teensy bit. And then, uh, yeah, okay, I have the colors right. For a second, something looked weird, but it's fine. Color the line art. Oh, wait, I forgot to, uh, add a little highlight in the nose. As well as, I guess, on the hooves. Oops. Not a clipped layer. Beautiful. And this is cabbage. Save, and now we can go back. Let me switch my sprite. Pokemon draw lock. Uh, wait, uh, yes, continue, because I gotta bring salad with us again. Almost forgot to stick her back in the party. Alright. Let's head back to Celestic. And we'll see how I'm feeling then. Swerve that man. Like my life depended on it. Wow, the DS could handle so much. Look at these impressive graphics, baby. We got like four whole polygons on screen. Ugh. Bum, 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 bum,
Okie dokie. Oh, I was saying Celestic. I meant Celestila. Oops. I'm mixing up towns. I'm pretty sure everybody was healed, but just in case. Alright. Give it a save. I haven't saved in a minute. And unfortunately, I think I am going to call stream here. <sighs> Thank you all for coming out. This was a shorter stream than usual, but if I wasn't feeling so hot, I mean, uh, if I was feeling better, I would have streamed longer, but I'm not feeling so hot today. <laughs> I appreciate you all coming out. Thank you to all the new faces who've been around. And I'll see you again on Wednesday for some drawing of mutuals. I hope you all have a good evening or night or possibly morning. Bye bye.